All right, it's been a long time coming. It's a shocking number of people have told me to watch Vanderpump Rules. Look, the truth is I hate the show. I've tried watching it so many times I can't get into it. It seems overly rehearsed, or not rehearsed, over, overly produced, and uh, I just struggle with it. In his camera roll, I found a screen recording of Raquel and Tom on FaceTime. My stomach dropped into my ass. Do you want anything? For you to die. Well, that's another wall. So this guy has an affair, then he walks through the house, and you'll notice that he has the attitude, right? Like, she's pissed, sure, but he's going to walk in and be moody as though it's her problem, as though, like, she's making it uncomfortable, as though she's being unreasonable. Like, you can just see it, like, within 30 seconds, you can see that that's his approach to this. Instead of him walking in and being like, hey, what I did was horrific, he's going to act like she's got the issue. Your friendship you with Raquel you anybody. You is can't, disgusting. You cannot tell, well, guess what? It's real because she treats me with respect. Mm. Something I haven't gotten from you in a long time. So I'm the scapegoat. I'm not saying I'm you're the scapegoat. Blame. It was about a connection where we actually like, we're respecting each other and giving each other confidence. That's you right now. <laughs> Ariana. I'm team Ariana, for sure. This guy is a, again, I'm always like reluctant with the, di with the diagnoses. Let's just give me a pass here on the reaction to Vanderpump Rules, but his behavior is super narcissistic. Not only is he trying to shirk the blame, like he's trying to roll off the blame and, and he's trying not to feel the distress. I think if you asked him, I think he would view it as a, as a sort of 50-50 problem. This was created also by her and her behavior in the relationship. And if she only understood the connection he, ha he had with uh, Raquel or whatever her name is, you know, she would get it. He's justified in his behavior because of the, because of the connection. I lost all my mojo. So f my friend. The, the thing that makes so f my friend then. Get your mojo back, f my friend. <laughs> this guy's a riot. <laughs> I felt, when I was your friend. I felt horrible about it. I felt terrible. I didn't want to do it, but I had to because I lost my mojo. Come on. The mojo and the mojo is important, right? There he is. The most reviled man in America. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude. I love you. I love you. I'm not going to beat you while you're down. Man. I exhausted my soul for Schwartz and Sandy's. And now to think this place could fall apart because of Tom's affair. It's soul crushing. <sighs> Hold on. So they have a, I'm just catching up here. They have a bar together. I'm sure remarkable business partners. And because Tom number two, Sandoval, is having the affair, no patrons want to attend the bar. So Tom number one is pissed about it. I think that's what's happening. Okay, I'm, I got it. I got it, I'm with you. I wanted to tell her, and every time I wanted to tell her, I got this vibe that she just did not want to know. The only time I like can get off is like when I watch porn in the bathroom. This is like a game of shells as he passes responsibility to everybody around except for himself. This poor guy had to go watch porn in the bathroom because she wasn't putting out, right? So that's, that's the reason why he had to go outside of the relationship. And just as a side note, this idea of I kissed this new person and I felt something new, something I haven't felt in a long time. Well, of course, if you're in a long-term relationship, it's not, you're not gonna have the same sense of, of arousal, the same level of lust as you would when you first kissed somebody new. But buddy, that will also go away. Like what you're, the idea that he's feeling love or a genuine connection with Raquel, it, it's silly. It's something that a freaking 16-year-old would say. That's the perspective, that's the lens he has. I've, I've said a lot of negative things about this show, but I will tell you, it's good TV. This is, uh, I'm enjoying it. It's good TV. What the f dude? It really is just waste of friendship. This guy's, this guy's crying about it? <laughs> I've watched a couple, like I've, I've tried to watch this show. This guy is, like if Tom Sandoval is immature, this guy is like, Right with him. I, don't, I wonder how old this guy is. I, I hope he's 22. Hello? Hey, it's me. Hey. What's up? You've done diddly 
yourself over and like all the people you were building friendships with. You've literally just like trashed it for like Sandoval's little okay, Like his stinky 40, 40 year old Like seriously, Raquel? Oh my God, James. <laughs> Can I just say, I mean, I think James is immature, but I also like from a psychological standpoint, he's loving this. Right now with the cameras on him and all these women watching him, He's just trying to get a rise out of people. He's loving the fact that he can have the moral high ground here. There's so many people on this show who are so self-interested. Like he doesn't really, like this is just about the attention. He doesn't really care what happened. He doesn't really care about anybody involved here. It's just about him getting the spotlight. I think that Tom has been hooking up with a lot of people. A few years ago, I heard the rumors that Tom and Billy Lee go off and do whatever they go and do. We need to open that case back up. It went cold, and I don't think it need to be cold no more. Agreed. I, I actually totally agree. Like, the, like the, the, the decision to quickly engage in such a long-term intense relationship with a best friend, uh, I think there's sort of no, and in, in watching his ability to make up excuses for why it's okay to justify his behavior, I think it is, would not be a shock uh, if he were out and about earlier in the relationship. I honestly feel like I only have you, my parents, and my sister to have like my best interest at heart. And even like, even with you, it's questionable. I'm trying to figure out the, the vibe here. Like these two people think that they are fully in love and I think that they, I think they have no idea what they're talking about, right? Like, like you can see them here and there's this, this energy between the two of them. They're super affectionate, they're aligned, right? That's them against the world. But the reality is that they are both people that are attracted to, to attention, to energy, to excitement. And that's why I think the affair happened in the first place. It was exciting to do this forbidden thing with this person. I think this relationship is, doomed. This is not true love. This is excitement and lust in a sick, self-serving cocktail. These are like, these are like all the same people. Same little apartment, same like one dog, same little water bowl. I don't know. I don't get this show. I would love to be able to have a conversation with her when she's not so angry at me. I don't know if I'll ever get that chance, which kills me. <laughs> Give me a break, man. Come on. Give me a break. You're not a bad person, Tom. You just did a bad thing. Make sure you know that. My sense is he's done a, a, more than one bad thing, and he did one bad thing for seven months, so I wouldn't put him in like the the awesome person category. The truth is the, the, the part of it, like I'm, I enjoy making fun of him, but the part of it that is the most concerning is his, like sort of his unwillingness to recognize that this is him. Like this is his issue, this is his decision, it's his fault. Uh, and instead it's, you know, the relationship sucked or, I was in love with Raquel or, you know, I'm struggling with my age or there's, right, there's all these different excuses other than him just saying I'm selfish. That's it. We survived the season finale of Vanderpump. My global takeaway is that everybody is exceptionally selfish and I feel, I f genuinely feel bad for Ariana. Thanks for listening. Let me know if you like this video. I will watch. They're doing these, uh, uh, reunion videos. If people like this video, I will uh, I'll watch the reunion. Thanks so much.